So today I'm talking about a P0110 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0110 code? Well, it's an intake air temperature sensor one circuit bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the vehicle's computer needs to know all the air that's going into the engine and the type of air that's going into the engine so that it can calculate the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And so to do this, it uses different sensors. It can use what's called a mass airflow sensor or a manifold absolute pressure sensor. And there's also a sensor called the intake air temperature sensor. And this sensor basically is just reporting back to the computer the temperature of the air going in. And since the density of air can change depending if it's colder or hotter, the computer can use this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders, which can fine tune the engine and keep it running really well. And when you get a P0110 code, the computer's seen a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. You know, one thing about these sensors, especially the intake air temperature sensor, is that sometimes it could be built into other sensors, like the manifold absolute pressure sensor, or the mass airflow sensor, or it can be separate. It's going to vary. It's going to depend on the engine, the year, the make, different things like this. So it's a good idea to get a diagram where all your sensors are located and what's going on with them. To know for sure what's going on inside of your particular vehicle. For example, here's a 2007 Ford Focus. And as you can see right here, you've got the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the intake air temperature sensor, and they're built into one. So it's going to look like one sensor on the engine. And also sometimes there could be more than one intake air temperature sensor. For example, inside this code, this is saying bank one. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So you find the number one cylinder on your engine, and that side's going to be bank one. The opposite of that would be bank two. But this would be the side of the engine that's having the problem. And in some cases, there's more than one intake air temperature sensor. And so what are some possible causes of a P0110 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor just failed. It's just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. You can't test these sensors if you want to. If you have a multimeter, what you do is you set it to ohm so that you can read resistance. And then you apply heat to it with like a hot hair dryer or something like that. Because these intake air temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is basically a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. So you can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how to go about testing these. Another common problem with these, especially if they're built in with the mass airflow sensor, is that they just become dirty and just need to be cleaned up. So you can't get some mass airflow sensor cleaner and you can just clean it up real good, put it back in, clear the code and see if the code comes back, which does often work. Quite often these sensors just get bad and just need to be cleaned up. But of course it could have just failed, just gone bad and just need to be replaced. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside of the wiring, like an open short, there's a bad connection somewhere or something like that. So you can't go through and test out the wiring. Again, there's going to be differences. So you're going to have to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside of the wiring. For example, here, the intake air temperature sensor, it's combined with the mass airflow sensor. And so to test the wiring for the intake air temperature sensor, you would test out the pins one and two for any opens or shorts or anything like this. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on with that intake air temperature sensor. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0110 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.